Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back, everybody. So this is going to be focusing primarily on everything that's going on over in the Ukraine. Uh, I said the Ukraine. Okay. Sorry, guys. Oh, I'm going to have to start all over. Yeah, well, this one, you get one strike, that's it. But you can't do it no more. It has to be Ukraine. But, I mean, if we were talking about Canada, the, the Canada, maybe I, I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't have done that. I don't know. I don't know. Well, let's not dissect it too much. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of kind of odd. Anyway, we can see a photo from tonight's protest in Georgia supporting Ukraine. Actually, there are protests all over the place, everywhere. Uh, and that's going to keep growing. And it'll be protests against war in general and protests against the system as we get deeper and deeper into this transitional period. Very, very transitional, and in some ways, it's it's exciting in the fact that we are changing the world in which we live. We are creating this more uh, the way we want it to be as a people, because the people don't want all of this this war. They don't want all of this unrest. No, we want to be in peace. Absolutely. You know, so many different questions after we did the uh, video with the update from the Galactics, and we knew it was going to get suppressed uh, because every time like we put that term uh, in there, it, it automatically gets suppressed because the powers that be understand the picture, the bigger picture. Again, this is a battle over consciousness and controlling the minds uh, of the populace mind control is so important it's so so very important that they're very careful on how they do it you know subliminal messages are are put in there because if people found out the manipulation on on in the front of them they would really be upset so everything that they do is very secret when it comes to the mind absolutely absolutely so yeah it's been a interesting day to say the least and a very very trying day for the world yeah. You know, this, these times are going to make us all a little bit more empathetic. And we'll be picking up on the energy that's out there. Again, when we get to fifth density, so to speak, you're starting to really understand that everything has a, there's a oneness to everything. And to understand the concept of a collective and pain and suffering to one will be felt more by all. This system that's been in place here is something that's just intolerable on the higher densities it, because it, it's not about superficial ego. It's, it's about understanding you know, the greater mysteries, that, that oneness and the fact that we are all so completely intertwined you know, I think when you talk about pain and suffering here in the 3D, when it comes to that in a, in a more of a 5D way of living, if people witness someone in pain and suffering, they understand it's a huge, <clears throat> it's a huge imbalance to the whole system. So people are m more wanting to step in and reduce this person or being from, they don't want them to have this pain and suffering and they'll do what it takes to help bring harmony to the whole situation because they can see the bigger picture. Absolutely. So, so this is an update here. We see Russian forces have made advances throughout the day but continue to face strong resistance from the Ukrainian armed forces. Russian armor forces are processing and progressing towards Kiev. A lot of people have said, when, does it, when did it become Kiev? and not Kiev, because, I mean, I always grew up with Kiev. It, it very well could have been, you know, uh, she's, <laughs> who knows when it was, but it changed to Kiev from Kiev at some point in time. Could it have been a Mandela effect? You gotta wonder. Is it? I don't know. Somebody will have the answer. I'm, a, I'm sure of that. So, anyway, they're attempting to encircle the city. Russia has likely conducted an amphibious landing in southern Ukraine between Melitopol and Mariupol. Mariupol. Ukraine retains control of key cities at the moment. But boy, you know, it looks like the fighting has been fierce. And there's been so many videos coming out, some of which, you know, we won't show because they're just kind of brutal. And 
we do see Maria Zarakova, Russia's foreign ministry spokeswoman, told a Russian TV station Friday night that relations with the West have reached the line after which the point of no return begins. That's that's a big statement. No, you know, that's with the West. That's a bigger, broader general term. Basically, it sounds like she's talking about NATO. Russia closes airspace to British planes. Aircraft linked in any way with the UK have been banned from flying over Russia. That's a big step. And soon after the UK and Russia banned each other from respective airspaces, British Airways website crashed and they experienced outage affecting ins and outgoings. Hmm, cyber attack perhaps. Not a good sign, you know, because also there were NATO officials that were saying uh, they would view cyber attacks as an attack on NATO. And we have a U.S. microchip maker, NVIDIA, hit by cyber attack as well. Chips are a big issue, absolutely, especially when the fine dining ware country controls so much of the chips uh, in the world. Well, right, you know, as far as their creation is concerned as well. And we see British Prime Minister, UK plans imminent sanctions personally against Putin and Lavrov. And this is what was spoken of yesterday. Council of Europe votes to suspend Russia. And, you know, uh, it, it really feels like there's, it's like a landslide building in so many ways. It is definitely a buildup of energy. And, you know, we had a buildup um a build up to the point where we have reached now and now it's almost like there is another build up to the build up. And we could see this from American military news. Russia now threatens Sweden and Finland. Are they next? And you know the state statement used uh was pretty plain. Act, actually, you could see right here. OSC is a uh, national yeah. the members uh, and the providing security is the national uh, sovereignty and uh, Finland and Sweden should not base their security in uh, based on uh, damaging security of other countries and uh, their accession to NATO can have uh, detrimentary <laughs> consequences and uh, face some uh, uh, military and political consequences and uh, second question uh, so yeah that was the statement from which they're getting this which was basically you know them trying to join NATO could have a military response as well as an economic response. Well, it's like all of these places are intertwined uh, in some way, shape, or form financially and also with a lot of technology. So it's almost like if one starts to fall, it's actually going to pull everybody down with it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So two more merchant ships hit by Russian attacks in Black Sea, a Japanese bulk carrier. The MV uh, Namura Queen hit by a rocket at anchor and a Moldovan chemical tanker on fire as well. You know, again, it, it, it could be any one particular mistake that could trigger, you know, full-fledged war between NATO and Russia. And then what would China do? Well, we have a whole lot of questions going on and it just gets more and more concerning by the day, by the minute. People are feeling it in their energies too. So NATO countries are going to provide and are providing weapons and air defense systems to Ukraine. Not that NATO itself is authorizing or, or doing it through NATO, but individual countries are actually. We've seen a lot of supplies coming in uh, from Poland. Here you see this is that statement. Cyber attacks by Russia on members of the alliance can trigger, or trigger Article 5, which is basically, that means war, uh, of a bigger scale between NATO and Russia. And this is what we were just talking about. So, yeah, it's getting hotter. It's getting more intense. And this is the line of thinking is that they're going to be storming Kiev or Kiev tonight. 
and they've actually been dispersing automatic weapons to the civilians to defend it. So far, you'd have to say that it appears that the defense has done a lot of damage because there's, there's a lot of videos out that show uh, destroyed Russian vehicles all over the place and, and bodies of soldiers as well. I know, that's that part is so sad. It makes me so sad. It's like, why does it have to go this far? I know people like you and myself and Mike, we don't want this kind of destruction. This is not the world that we wish to live in. And in many ways, I feel we're all going to have to pull together and create our own world. The Great Northern War of 1700, which lasts for years, um, was between many different entities, but Sweden and Russia primarily, but other ones as well. And it did end up going through um, the Baltic states. It ended up you know, operating in Poland as well. And it was just a, a mess, but it shows you how, you know, 300 plus years later, here we go again. Mm -hmm. This never ends in this Kali Yuga. It's just nonstop. There was a comment saying that the controllers, um, you know, the only way to get rid of the controllers is by eliminating them. But again, you have to look at it in the bigger sense of things. You eliminate their significance, move past them. What war can you point to and say that brought peace, a long-lasting peace? It, there is none. There hasn't been any. You know, one war leads to another, leads to another, leads to another. It goes on indefinitely. And I think that's a very fair question to ask ourselves as we're waking up and we're looking at the system in which we live. I don't think there is a more fair question to ask. And this is this is what we have kind of been conned into um, holding up is this system that never, ever, ever brings any peace. They talk a good game, you know, but then look at their actions. So we just have to look at the actions and judge from there. And absolutely, every single missile shot, every bullet, all these weapons, all these tanks, everything that gets uh, used and everything that gets destroyed will be replaced. Mm -hmm. And that means repeat orders. That means repeat customers. Again, warfare is extremely profitable. I mean, just the same thing. And if you look at medicine, mainstream medicine, repeat customers, you know, they make sure they take care of you in such a way that you're going to have to need a doctor to continue your your health and that's just so unfair but this is the, what they do this is how they operate yeah just think of it from that point of view if the entire world was immunocompromised that would mean tremendous profits mm -hmm. let's just leave it at yeah, that it yeah and you can't really trust what you're hearing you're going to have to decipher for yourself and and use that inner ability here you see kiev refuses to negotiate of course this is coming out of sputnik so this is coming from a russian source and zero hedge is saying ukraine and russia discuss place and time for ceasefire talks okay <laughs> which is it um yeah there's there's information and there's contra information that's out there there's a lot of um, photos out there and videos out there. There were some infrared ones, for instance, that looked very, very curious. And they were saying it was it was Russian troops and tanks that were destroyed. But some of them are actually from Syria and some could be from Iraq. And but they're being used at portraying that it's this conflict. This is where everything gets so twisted in this time. Here we see Russian forces reportedly overrun in the western Ukrainian city, uh, Zytotomir, just west of Kiev. There are hundreds of Russian soldiers that claim to have been taken prisoner by Ukrainian military and paramilitary forces. And we see rocket strikes and bombings targeted the Kelmanitsky and Poltava regions of the Ukraine and reports of a Ukrainian military um, taking down a Russian IL-76 transport plane, presumably trying to land an airport near Vas Vasilkov, 
near Kiev. They say this is revenge for the Luhansk 2014. It's a big plane, can carry large amounts of troops and gear. There's there's a lot of vehicles destroyed. There's tons. And this one, again, says, make of it as you will. Everybody will have their own opinion. This, this is a video, and there seems to be uh, several circulating. Of, these are NUKEs on the move in Russia. ICBMs. So, again, we'll make of it what we will. Now, here you see... This is a base in Russia that's reportedly been struck by a Ukrainian ballistic missile. If it's true, that would be the first time uh, that there's damage on Russian soil. Again, we don't know for sure. Uh, Russian Su-25 reportedly been shot down by Ukrainian forces in the western Ukraine. If true, that would be the fourth one that was at that point in time. And of course, you know, if it's from like an hour or two ago, it's old news. Mm -hmm. I mean, things are happening so fast. Large convoy of lethal NATO supplies crossed the border into Ukraine. Poland's Minister of Defense shared this picture. And that's what we were talking about before. And there are reports of a massive buildup of assault helicopters in southern Belarus. And Russia's preparing for a major airborne assault again over in Ukraine and from what we've seen they say only about one-third of Russian forces that have encircled Ukraine have been used so far which is you know a normal battlefield tactic you see what you could do with your first foray and then you know depending on the results you just adjust from there mm -hmm. and I'll give you guys all the links uh, so much going on. You see Poland sending these man, man pads and drones to Ukraine. Now, again, if Ukraine did fall, I, they're making it out now like um, Putin is all about reviving the old Soviet Union. That's what we're hearing from the politicians uh, that are in NATO. And so... Again, that's one side of the story. There's all different things. Now, just be cautious of completely buying in because we see friends and family members that will say, well, no, what's going on is this is a white hat operation. This is all about taking out, you know, you know, JB and 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 his junior, you know, and, and all this. Again, you got to use discernment. Because how many times have we been told things from the same old sources that are telling us, you know, that they're doing this, they're doing that, and then we don't see any proof, zero, zero proof. And when we check with the Galactics, we get, nope, it's just this info. I mean, it's, it's what you want to believe. And then sometimes that, that wanting to believe something gets us to put false hope in places where we shouldn't be. Right, because if we come to that understanding that there is going to be peace and that someone else is going to come and make things right, then we have a, a sense that we don't really need to do anything. We don't need to prepare too much because certainly, you know, the the good guys are going to come and rescue us. So. Yeah, absolutely. And and there's a ton of that, as you can see, something getting shot down. This might have been that, that Russian plane. There was video out of um, two that I saw that apparently were shot down. So is this going harder for Russia than Russia might have expected? It, it feels like that's the case, but is it because of, again, is it because of the twist? So this is interesting. Despite the southern border crisis, CBP agents asked to deploy for, to Europe for the Ukrainian conflict? Our border patrol? It says JB's administration imposes second effort in a year to divert border agents overseas. Last year it was for Afghanistan. The one thing that comes right to mind is you don't want your forces everywhere else if there's going to be an attack at your own front door or back door or southern door however you want to look at it that you know that's one of those red flag things for me where I just look at that and say oh boy 
Hmm. Again, Trojan horse. U.S. Saudi war in Yemen has killed 377,000 people. 70% of those were children under five. And, and this is one of those wars that just gets, for the most people, they don't even know it happened. There's so many wars out there when we're showing like the list of wars just of this 21st and last 20th century. Of course, you know about the big ones, but do you know about all the little ones? This never stops, but it will. There was also a question of, well, when will we get to the golden age? Well, the golden age is a way off. We first have to go through basically a bronze and a silver age, so to speak. So it's a transition. We want it to be instantaneous. We, we want to just be able to wake up in paradise tomorrow. Now, there is always the chance of the individual ascending and or shifting uh, timelines. So it's not to say that the individual can't ascend. And we've quoted uh, the Buddhist rainbow body that's been achieved by so many monks, tens of thousands of monks that have ascended and, and gone on up into the higher densities. Again, if you're dedicated and you're able to isolate yourself from all this in such a manner that you're living the life of a Buddhist monk, per se, of, of many people that have used any particular route they want to from any different path, any different tradition, if you're able to keep your vibes high enough and to work on yourself, yeah, you can. You can. You don't have to wait for a mass ascension ev event. You can do it. And I also think you can change timelines. You might find yourself um, in a timeline where this is not how this world is going. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's a lot of it is about personal choice and how bad do you want this thing to happen? I mean, it, it is up to us. And one of the things I want to do is I just want to see this world through to a place where people have their own sovereignty, where people are not hurting each other anymore, where people are more accepting of different ways of living and just find the peace and harmony in that. Absolutely. How the UK wants to make its soldiers superhuman. Shocking. UK Ministry of Defense report advocates human augmentation for war fighting purposes. We've, we've heard all about this from chips to who knows what else, you know, these uh, skeletons that you could integrate with. It's all part of the assimilation into the Borg ultimately. And that's part of the big, big agenda. And this is curious. This mysterious bulging triangle UFO film lurking over Islamabad, Pakistan for nearly two hours. Hmm, I asked Cindy, who do you see on this? Well, I, I saw little beings, but they are operating under a, another overlord. They are taking orders because that's what they do best. They do as they're told. And I see these as small beings actually a little more advanced than what you would perceive as a gray they have a little more of their own um uh their their own thing that they want to do their own being to them but still they still take orders mm -hmm. yeah it, interesting you know we we encountered many different beings when we were over off around area 51 when we were just camping out there especially at nights we would just you know sit out and watch the stars and see portals open and all of a sudden there'd be one ship after another just you know just like a a train of, of ships that would just be going over into the base pretty wild stuff and here they're showing us this is from nasa mars curiosity rover what exactly are these shapes is this organic is this constructed it certainly appears to be interesting. I don't know. Is that something that naturally can occur and yet doesn't have anything to do with any sort of life? Again, you know, this is all part of that hidden history. Absolutely. But then at the same time, we have other, and it feels like it. they are getting much more active. The controllers have, I don't know if, I don't know if infiltrated is the right word. Again, we know there's controlled opposition, right? That's, that's a thing. That is a thing. It's the same thing with disclosure. People are going to realize 
that we're not alone. People are going to know there's ETs. They're going to show them to you at some point in time, probably not in the too distant future. Uh, you know, somewhere in that maybe five to seven year range, they'll actually roll them out and say, okay, this is so-and-so. They're from the Pleiades. This is so-and-so. They're from Sirius. This is so-and-so. They're from Alpha Draconis, you know, and, and, and the like. That That's in the future with the plans. So again, when you can't keep something from happening, what do you do? You control the narrative. And they're already doing that. And they're planting tons of seeds with tons of uh, information out there to get you prepared to welcome those that have been controlling us all along as friends. Right. You know, they're just giving us this huge saturation of information. So most people don't know which way to turn. And that's where you develop the inner discernment. That helps. Absolutely. And, and we know that that video we did where we were talking about the power structure really took them off. Cindy could feel somebody fuming furiously. You know, I guess I'm allowed to say we got a we got a phone call from it, it showed it was from Russia and the energy behind that call was so was enraged and that's how I channel I get those emotions and it was like red rage beyond rage blacked out rage um, and and then the other part of it was just somebody wanting to create chaos and meddling but yeah I and mean, that's how you know these things absolutely and and that's not too surprising because we did get a message once from from china as well telling us that they had a package for us so you know just give us your address yeah exactly <laughs> so you know we we understand the bigger picture we understand what what their purpose is and again this is definitely a multi-dimensional spiritual battle that's underway and our existence on the 3d realm is a temporary thing it doesn't last forever, and it's not meant to. So, you know, this is an experience. This is what the guides have come through and told us time and time again. Remember, when you're panicking or if you're getting depressed or anxious, this is a temporary experience. This is this is not home, per se. And we're here to change from within and get rid of that system. Absolutely. It just, you know, we got to help each other, work with each other, and we will all get through this together. Source bless and namaste. Oh, wait, we're not quite done. Sorry. It's okay. We just want to thank our Patreons and those that are supporting on Ko-Fi. If you need to make an appointment, it's evolutionaryenergyarts at gmail.com or, or earts at protonmail.com. Do check out Medicinal Foods. Link at the top of every uh, every video. And use the coupon code EEA and it gets you a discount. It does support the channel as well. God bless and namaste. Namaste.